All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Friday. That means we are playing with Ancient Years, and it is part three. It's the final part of the original discussion. So uh, I got a little bit of flack. I got a little bit of flack last Daily Duels on Friday. Not sure if it's because I was playing a different variant of Ancient Gears, or maybe because I misspelled Force on accident and I had no access to spell it, while everybody was commenting and commenting and commenting and commenting, and be like, hey, hey, you spelled Force wrong. Like, yes, I get it. I had no computer access. I can't change it on my phone. So, rip. You know, I changed it eventually. Uh, of course, we are going against fucking Pendulum.deck. I can't even call it Metaphos, because it's literally Pendulum.deck. Anything that's good in fucking Pendulum, anything. I already talked about this, but it's freaking fucking ridiculous, this mechanic. Like, I might as well just scoop it up. I might as well. I might be able to handle this situation, maybe. But it's not It's not looking too hot. It really isn't. Like, I just, I, I can't. I can't, I can't am. I cannot stand this fucking mechanic. It's so stupid. But I might be able to, I might be able to do something, because I can summon my engine gear, call... Uh, monster effects between Kirin can't bounce me, then I can double cyclone crack one of his pendulum scales and then run the Kirin over and it goes back to the extra deck. Now that's if and only if he has no other pendulum scales to be set. You know, if he has other scales to be set then we might be able to handle this situation. You know? Outside of that it's not going to look too hot. You know? Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and activate the terraforming and get that search, but I don't know. I don't know. So we went uh, because of ancient gear how and that continuous spot. We went to more ancient gears. I mean, I, I can kind of see your guys as a uh, flack and hate on the last one. It's kind of like, oh my god, you know, you will actually D Daniel. What the fuck? You're playing like uh, Katakuris and Gadgets. You're not really playing like ancient gears. Like, sorry, you know, the fucking shit's actually legitness. So. Uh, I mean, drawing the fortress is pretty good, I must say, but I'm probably going to go ahead and double cyclone my, my field spells, you yeah. So, I can play this, so you can't respond to any of my fucking ancient gear shits, then I can normal summon this, call monster effects, well, this turn I cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, right? Yeah, it cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, period, so I'm kind of like your metaphors, so I really don't give a shit what you do with your kidding, your kidding can't do shit to me, you yeah? know? Next turn I can, but hopefully I'm going to be cracking one of your, cracking your pendulum skills, so you ain't going to do shit to me, you know? So, double cyclone, get rid of my gear town. I don't know what pendulum scale crack. I'm hoping this one will, will crack my fingers with that one. I'm going to use my effect. He got counter, so he can go ahead and summon one of his metaphors monsters, which I guess I really don't care about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my dragon, my powerful, powerful dragon, in which he can't play shit, and I run his ass over. So it sucks that I don't have another thing to pop. Training's not that useful either, like... I got too much right now. Uh, really, I just run this Keating over, so it's not on the field anymore, so he can't fuck with me. And hope that that's it. I mean, I can, I'm going to crack his other pendulum scale, too, because he only has one card in his hand. Now, if he draws into both pendulum scales, then fucking rip me. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. And, of course, he won't be able to activate that Metaphose counter, either. So you can die, and then, yes, I'll go ahead and crack that scale. Ah, that's pretty nice. And you can't do shit to me. Uh, you can't respond to activations, and like I said, Ancient Gears, they, I think they could probably do something, you know, with how they pop their own back, or kind of like, maybe throw a little bit of artifact engine, I don't know, and uh, the, the fact that you can't play shit against me, oh, never mind, he topped that into a fucking summoner's art, great, so he's going to be able to pendulum summon again, again, so if he bounces this back to my hand with Keating, then I pretty much have nothing, I have to draw into like Ancient Gear Golem, <laughs> uh, anyway. Let me go ahead and get to part two because I know last time and last day of the duels I didn't get to it until like all the way at the end because I was so, just so distracted by the duels. That's what happens when I try to talk and play Yu-Gi-Oh at the same time. The struggle is real, I must say. So, you can go ahead and play that and this can pop that. And he might have this other card. That's the problem. One of the problems with Pendulum Mechanic, yeah, I can crack his scales, but who's to say that he just can't rebuild the scales and then Pendulum Summon everything again, you know? It's not like I stop your Inherent Summons of Xeo or Synchro Summon and then that's it. I don't have to deal with any of that shit ever again. It's like, no, no, no. All I have to do is just reset up my skills and here I come again, so. Anyway, we were up to round five. I was now X and two. I mean, fucking the rip on the Soul Charger with blue eyes and the rip on the, really on the Soul Charger with the galaxy eyes. It's like, it's like, wow, you know? It seems like every single time they get Soul Charged, every single time there's Soul Charging involved, it was Infinity. It was like ridiculous. And of course, it was one motherfucker. It was that Galaxy Soldier in both decks. That fucking Galaxy Soldier, you know, rip me. Rip motherfucking me. All right, so are you going to do anything else? It comes down to the card in your hand and the set card. But if you don't have anything along those lines, then, you know, I can just kill him and then crack this scale. You know, I don't know what this card is. I know this is counter. I know this is fusion, so... This card doesn't seem like a threat. If it was a threat, he might have played it, but no, he can't target or destroy you by card effects this turn, so... I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, okay, well, well, and that's what happens when you fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, you fucking wreck that Insta Fusion like a real dog. A real G, it doesn't even matter if it, he doesn't have a monster graveyard because Norton is still great. Like, Insta Fusion's great without Norton, and with Norton, it's just stupid, so. We already know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know that if this card attacks until. Oh no, if this card attacks. I thought it was just period. Now, if this card attacks, then you can't hit it. Because we both kind of had that effect, but yeah. You, you, you. I'm only when I attack, you're period, so. Doesn't matter. Oh, nice, 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 nice top deck. Nice top deck. <laughs> Seriously, you just struck it. No, 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 you had it. 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 You, you ripped the, you ripped the fucking Summoner's Art, which was a great top deck as well. Both those cards were really great to draw, so. I'm dead. Uh, if I draw, like, Twin Twister or my fucking, uh, what's it called, then it might be pretty decent. Uh, there's a couple of cards I can draw to get me out of this situation. But then there's a couple of cards that I cannot draw to get at me, uh, me out of this situation. Like, another Fortress. Awesome. So that's, that's great. That's great. <laughs> you know, if only I can have any way. I, I'm running double Cyclones. I'm running triple Twin Twisters. I want to pop my own shit. And, and then I don't draw into shit. And then I'm not doing shit, right? So I'm just going to set this monster. And hopefully he won't be able to TK me. And then hopefully I'll be able to draw into another double cyclone or turn twister so I can crack my own shit. Even my fucking catapult. Like, so many cards I can draw. There's like, what? Like, six cards that I can fucking draw? Oh, eight? Then, Ancient Gear Golem would be fine to draw. There's a couple of cards that'd be okay to draw. If only I could still do that Gear Town shit. Like, the Gear Town type of Gear Town. But nope, can't do that. Yep, and then he can go ahead and use counter, get back. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop. Like, you got it. You got it. Because you can go ahead and grab your pendulum skills back. Pendulum summon your key, and like, wow. Alright, let's get another duel. Bear back. Alright, got another duel. Uh, I took the deck this a little bit, because uh, it seems like I actually made a mistake with the editing of the deck and actually took out some of my trading targets, so rip on that. Wow, he made me go first. Ew, I don't want to go first with this deck. Like, this deck is all second, all day, all day second. Uh, so I was 2-2. Two -two. Soul Charge was just wrecking me. My luck was just terrible, and it's going to go downhill from there. Like, don't, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Ew, uh, he just sets a shit ton of back row, like, I guess. And this all just summons from my ancient gear from my deck or graveyard, didn't even summon from my fucking, uh, I mean, hand or graveyard, didn't even summon from my deck, so there's really no point in doing that either. Like, there's really no point in doing anything, this hand's just kind of, eh, yeah. Maybe if he, like, overextends the special summons, I might be able to max C, and depending on his back row, I really don't care, especially with ancient gear fortress and the turn I summon, like, it's just pretty much asking for me to get in with my ancient gears. I get my Gear Town, and I have triple Terraforming, triple Gear Town, triple Catapult, like, I have so many things. <laughs> so many things, but, gotta wait. Yeah, because Catapult works well with Fortress as well, because I can go Fortress and play Catapult on it. So, <coughs> there's a ton of cards I can draw, sorry, I'm still sick. Oh no, oh no, oh no, fucking Gravekeepers plus Card Demise, let's go. You already know, people, you already know. That's fine. So, I won't be getting too much out of uh, my fortress anymore, and I seriously doubt I'll be getting too much out of my max C. <sighs> you know what? At least I get to draw off of that. I, mean, I don't really know anybody who plays too much Rite of Spirit, but hey. Wow, and another double cyclone. Awesome. That's totally not what I need. Yep, and then your vanity's emptiness. If you have a face up gravekeeper in that, then we I can't special summon monsters, so that's awesome. Wow, and he's not even done. He's gonna play his Dark Magic Circle like this man. This man's not even fucking done. So next round I face. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna say right now, I did not face the single same deck once. And a little spoiler, since this is the end of the time, so I didn't face PK Fire once. I know, I was totally prepared for it. Totally prepared for it. PK Fire matchup against uh, Cosmos is actually pretty good, but I didn't face any problem because I was like X2 by round 4. So, you know, all the PK Fires are all at the top table, and I'm sitting here down at fucking like table 30, 40. So, anyway, next round I face against Water or Mermaid Atlanteans. And this guy was probably the worst Mermaid Atlantean player I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, it was bad. So. I'm not sure if this guy's watching this, but if he is, then just know you're kind of a douche. Uh, the, uh, not, I mean, you guys might remember, last time I did original support, uh, I was playing Cosmos again, and I faced this PK Fire guy who's called my deck garbage. Well, I just happened to sit next to him in this round. The same fucking guy, yeah, the same fucking douchebag. And I'm sorry, if you're watching this, you're a douchebag. Like, you seriously are. Um, I mean, I'm, I actually have something decent right now. So I can go ahead and... 
I need to get rid of this. Like, obviously, I need to get rid of this. I can get rid of that with double cyclone. But I, I can't. I have ancient gear wyvern who can of course search my ancient gear uh, catapult, and then I can pop my shit. It's just I wish, kind of wish I had my terraforming. So I'm kind of wondering if I should search this first. I think I should summon this and search this first. Is there anything that I need to set right now? Not really. Not really. I mean, I can activate this. Activating this would be totally fine. And if he has his, his uh, counter trap, then you know, rip me anyway. So now we can go ahead and summon my ancient gear wyvern. Ancient gear wyvern can go ahead and get me my search. Now, what's the best thing to search? My catapult really doesn't do anything because I have a monster. It's kind of slow. I can get my ancient gear golem and I can trade it in, or I can you know potentially get another monster and then fuse. So uh, and then of course twin twist of the catapult. I mean the fortress right now, but it would be summoning from the hand. Like if anything, I would love to you know. Get the catapult set up, but catapult only can be activated if I control mode monsters, which I do, so I think it might be best just to get the ancient gear golem and then trade it in. Trade it in, get deeper in my deck, then cut pot of desires, get deeper in my deck, like I think getting deeper in my deck will be the best choice right now. It's just keep drawing, keep drawing, maybe get like a twin twisters, clear up everything, have the double cyclones, clear up every clear up. if I can clear up all this background, I might be able to get back into this goal. So Oh, there you go. I got my terraforming and my gear town and shit like that, so that's awesome. That is awesome right there, sir. So, and you can't even touch my uh, ancient gears. Uh, I might be able to run through you right now, my my dog. So he, same guy, same douche. I sit down. My opponent sits down. We're about to start round one, and the guy turns to me. And he's like, "So how are Cosmos doing?" Now I can't say 100% because you know I'm playing Cosmos again because he faced me last time I played Cosmos and I beat him previous turn or what. But the pretty much thing is. Just don't talk, you know? Why did you have to say anything? He's had to fucking say something, huh, fuck boy? So he said something, and uh, my opponent pretty much played as if he knew I was playing Cosmo from the jump street. So we rolled dice roll, of course I lose, because I only win one dice roll. Uh, he goes first, playing water. I know, what? Like, he goes first playing water, say, what? Wow, so because of that, I don't get anything, because this card was still in the field to resolve. Rip on that, well, I guess that's okay. It's a good thing I have another one. Uh, so like I said, I guess I'll just go ahead and clear up his background. I'm kind of taking an egg on the double side clones, kind of, but it's okay. Book of Boom. That is fine. That is totally fine. I mean, Ancient Gear is only just going to attack over you anyway. I'll probably still activate my Pot of Desires because it's so good. Wow, you're going to Book of Moon your own monster. Don't summon... And then play Wisdom, so then you're out of... Okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. And there was, like, really no background back there. Wow, I guess Gear Town doesn't activate? Because I can't summon from anywhere else but from the Great Wow. Wow, should have got rid of the Necro Valley. Good job, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. Wow, I didn't... I thought that it was, like... No, it said cards cannot... In either player's graveyard cannot activate the effect. Cards in either player's graveyard cannot be activated by card effect... I don't know. Fucking fucking Necro Valley is such a weird card to read. Cannot be removed from play. Cards in either player's graveyard cannot be affected by card effects, except for their own. So, because Gear Town activates, I can't summon from my graveyard. I can't summon through its effect. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna be in scoop. Like that was that was confusing. Necro Valley is one of the most confusing cards. It's like what cards work on it, what cards don't. I don't know. I thought it was because of that fucking. Uh, Venue stuff, but no, no, it's because of Nacre Valley. I don't know. Bear back. Alright, we got another duel. This guy was hoping saying no pendulum nigger, so, uh, but no pendulum niggers. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, I still feel like shit. I'm still just super sick. Anyway, uh, he went first. He said some back row. He really didn't do too much with water. Like, in the first duel, I didn't even see Neptibus. And I, I was the one on offensive. Not like I said, I was the one playing, uh, um, uh, you know something back really wow no pendulums. No, no, no pendulums. No pendulums No pendulum But dark law is okay, but dark law is okay. Like come on. Come on, man. That's disgusting. That's disgusting <laughs> No pendulum pendulums are a son of a bitch dark law like oh, okay. All right Sure 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 no pendulums, but dark law is okay. All right. Wow, you son of a bitch. That's all I gotta say about that. You son of a bitch. 
Oh, don't shut your lying ass up. You know you weren't gonna go for Anki. You know you weren't gonna go for Anki. You were gonna go for that motherfucking Dark Law. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Sure, my nigga. Sure, my nigga. All right. Well, you're, you're playing that fucking Jaden shit, but I'm playing that Crowler shit, boy. Dungeons for niggas with a capital N. Oh my god, <laughs> you can't be saying that. Uh, well, I'm not playing Pendulums, and now since you didn't go into Dark Law, I guess I can go into something else. Uh, the card only summons from the Hand or Deck, that's what sucks. Like, if it's something from, I mean, from Hand or Grave Rider, like, if someone from Deck, then hell yeah, but it doesn't, so. So I really don't want this fucking Hound. Like, I'm only trying to running Hound is because I have a higher con chance of fusing, like, Lithium did, but it's not that great. This card's kind of shitty. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and play Pond of Desires. Da -da 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 -da. Desires is so strong that so you open up with five, but I get to open up with seven. That's fair. That's totally fair. Wow, and then I get my Tomb Table. I wonder how many cards I have left of my Tomb Table. I'll throw my Tomb Table again because I have the high consistency of fusing and the trading targets for deck thinning. Like, you already know. It's, it's good. It's good. So. You don't get what? Don't get what? Get what? No, it's not Exodia. Not Exodia. It's Ancient Gear. It's it's clearly it's clearly Ancient Gear. That I thought I pretty much revealed that by now. So we can go ahead and play my Ancient Gear Fortress. Then activate my Ancient Gear Factory. I mean, my Ancient Gear Factory, Ancient Gear, Gear, I mean, Gear Town. It'd be nice if I can get rid of both of these monsters, but I don't think I can. Because I don't have, I don't have Ancient Gear Golem. I have Ancient Gear Golem. Yeah, but you don't count as Ancient Gear Golem for some reason. Yeah, so, rip on that. Rip on that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to pitch you. Because if he gets rid of this, then I can summon. Actually, you know what? I can, I'm just going to get rid of my, gear t my uh, Ancient Gear Fortress. And then I can summon both of them. And then the, both of them can kill both of them. Do you happen to be Mexican? No. What does that have to do with anything? Question mark. There's Darklaw. There's Darklaw. So, there's, there's the motherfucker. I was, I was expecting him. That sucks. Ah, uh, that's that's racist. And fucking assholes and assholes assholes tend to use dark law. <laughs> like, great. Oh, well, there goes the end of my plays. Like I was totally gonna summon my ancient gear dreadtron dragon, my big one, level nine, tackle over Topi Lightning where he couldn't activate his effect, and then pop his back row. But instead, he's like, dark law. What's dark law? Oh, you mean dark law? Like, why would you even say anything like that? Like. Fucking Dark Law, man. So pretty much I need to draw until like a Twin Twister or a Double Cyclone again. If I don't, then I'm fucked. Like, this is not a great video. This really isn't. Anyway, he hit me with a fucking... Wow, wow. And now I could probably get terraforming when, of course, I probably have my Gear Towns all banished. Like, that's, that's probably it. Like, I wish Gear... I guess Hunting Dog had, like, maybe it's Fusion. Like, that's it. Uh, you got it. You got it. You got it. We got our duel. Bear back. Ugh, I hate Dankwall so much. He is such an asshole. Like, why would you make a walking macro cosmos, Cosmo? Uh, fucking Konami. Ugh, who sounds not that great here? I'm, I'm probably gonna just take the hunting dog out. I thought maybe I could do some fusion plays, since you, you don't need the poly and stuff, but I just keep on getting the poly anyway, and then I keep on drawing in the same fucking shit, the same fucking fortresses, multiple fortresses. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? At least I can get my tune ancient gear golem and then trade it in, so, and then draw deeper into my deck. Like this, this shit's this this ancient gear shit. I, th I thought maybe with the new cards it'd be decent. It's <laughs> I really want to do that play to some of my two dragons. My two dragons are just so strong, the level nine ones. But never seem to get the plays to do it. To keep on drawing my fucking fortress instead of my fucking catapult. I haven't seen my catapult all fucking video. So wow, another fortress. Wow, awesome, awesome. So I I have nothing. I have nothing through triple fortresses though. Triple fucking fortresses. Like, I'm an ancient gear from my fucking hand. Like, wow, just fuck me, you know? Just, just fuck me. So it's just, just, just pass. Wow. 
Wow. So uh, I ended up signing in game two. I ended up signing in Twin Twisters because he was the one back rowing me. Like it was, it was ridiculous. It was literally ridiculous. <coughs> okay, that's fine. Mhm. Mm that maybe you're gonna like overextend special summon. Now you're just gonna punch me in the face with fire hand. Awesome. I said this is ancient gear hound. I keep on drawing ancient gear hound and I keep on drawing fucking fortress. And all it does is special summon the ancient gear monster from my fucking. Hand. Trading again! Awesome! Awesome! Nah, this deck is really fucking me! Like, this is amazing how bad this deck is fucking fucking me. Look at the fuck I'm supposed to do with Ancient Gear Hound. I can't even fuse right now. Oh, of course I draw the Polly. Like, ugh! Like, wow. 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 Triple fucking. In, in, in a fucking deck that runs fucking Pot of Desires and shit, I draw triple fucking Fortress. Like, alright. Alright. Wow, he's just running all the monsters that float. <laughs> He's just running float dot deck. Oh no, I, I might have dropped dropped the fucking maxi on you if I knew you were gonna special summon right now. If you're gonna exceed, exceed. I mean, it's inherent summon. I really can't see you doing anything else. I would love to get a draw of this maxi. All right, you're gonna exceed. What the fuck? You know, put battle phase, touch, blah blah blah. Put damage. Which one you can send the top guard? Right, 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 right. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I guess it's, I'd rather deal with this than deal with all of, all three of those monsters. So I end up 2 0 the water guy. Like, getting to, he like Neptibus and does all his combos. He goes first again, of course, you know. Because I guess at that point he'd rather go first and then allow me to go first and set up on him. But he's playing water, so I think he'd rather like kind of try to fight through it. Anything. Anything. Alright, fusion construction. I can, I can use that. I can use that. Because I can actually reveal Ancient Gear, Ancient Gear Golem and get me an Ancient Fucking Gear Golem. Which, of course, I banish from anyway. And then I can trade it in and hopefully get like my catapult or something. Like,. No, I didn't. But you know what? I can search for it. I can search for it, so. Just I can't play it this turn because I have a monster face up on the field. Unless he finds out a way to like bottomless me or something like that. I will a monster on the field. Breakthrough skill. Fuck! Oh my god. Wow, I really needed that search. Like incredibly needed that search. I should have I should have activated my fortress! That was my fault. I had three fortresses. Why didn't I play it? Why didn't I play it? That was me. That was totally me. Oh my god. Well, I can activate fortress, then I can twin twister and pop his shit, pop my shit, and this will go off and summon me back my ancient gear golem. I can do that. Yeah. Like wow, that was totally my bad. I I apologize. That was, that was that was all me. That was all me. I'm sitting here with triple fortresses, and I don't fucking play that shit. Like. The fuck is wrong with me? I kind of actually to tell you the truth. I kind of forgot. Like I was so excited to see Wyvern that I was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get my search on. Like nothing's gonna stop me. Like something's gonna stop me." Like, oh, and apparently I can't summon Agent Gear going back. Hmm. Oh, because it cannot be special summon. That's right. That's right. Forgot about that. Oh, right. You can't attack. Turn your summon. Ugh. Uh, and I should activate another factory. I mean, a fortress. Uh, don't I feel like an ass? <laughs> I'm just fucking up. So that was the water guy. Like he 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 did all his memorable plays. He got his uh he's got his uh fucking what's it called? Fuck. Uh, next is like eight hundred. Let's try to send top card. That, but he didn't do that last time. Interesting. Um. How many catapults is shit that run? One catap one catapult banish. Did I banish all my catapults? Almost. Two catapults and double cyclone. He got Nept I mean he got Mermelio, but then he never did anything with it. So that was that was weird. Um I mean Molan Glacia, but he never summoned it and picked anything out of my hand. So yeah. <laughs> Alright. Attack my wyvern. Oh, that's fine. Wow. When you draw Maxi and you have absolutely nothing to Maxi. No, that's fine. Drop me by another hundred. So I can attack this turn. Why you control the lower paw attack directly to start this point? Fix pair of damage. That's it. All right. So can I can I can attack this turn. Awesome. Awesome. Couldn't attack last turn even though I summoned him. Like, ten monsters. Fucking rip. 
But at least you can be special summon in like regular ancient gear going. That asshole can't be special summoned at all. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's done. Oh, at least I got another Twin Twister so I can ink Twin Twister my fortress again. So we're running triple double cyclone and triple Twin Twister because I want to make sure that I pop everything. Now summon something to go into rank 4 play. Summon like fucking. Oh, Fire and Ice Hand maybe? Oh, yes, Gear Town. Nice, nice, that's exactly what I need. This game might be over because I do my fucking gear town. <coughs> nice. So. Don't try to stop pitching the poly. Poly ain't doing shit. Pop, pop. Nope. Yes. And now I can summon my big level 9 ancient gear dragon who, of course, makes it so you can't activate card effects until in turn, which is all some fire and ice hands, but none of that! <laughs> Wham. Is it a fire ice hand? If it's ice hand, then rip. If it's fire hand, then it's still rip because it's like an Armadis. It's not just th spells and traps anymore. They upgraded it. So I beat the water guy. So now I'm 3 2. Alright, round 6. Okay, he's good. Yep. And uh, we'll get one more duel, and I'll talk about round 6, 7, and 8. Alright, bear out. Alright. So round 6, I face. What do I face? I face Swiggity Swoos. I face Black Wings. I know. Like, what? Wow, why do I keep on opening up with... Oh, no, this is a catapult. I keep on thinking that's Fortress. Nope, that's catapult. Wow, it's opening hand. All the background. I can twist the double cycle. I can clean up house with background. I can pop my own shit. It's just, I need to get the shit, so... Hopefully he does a couple of special... I mean, maybe I can actually use Maxi in this duel, on like the last duel, where it's like, nah, I can't really see you doing anything, so there's really no point in me activating Maxi. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I see that motherfucking level eater. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, it's that motherfucking level eater. That man's about to fucking special summon all over the place. Alright, so you guys special summon from Grave? It's fine, I will max C. If you, <coughs> if you dug me out, then GG. I pretty much have to say about that. Even just getting one special summon draw is nice. Well, I just keep on drawing these fucking polys. Like, I'm not even sure if fusing is the best thing to do with this deck. Wow, he's not even gonna do anything. He's just gonna fucking end. Awesome, drew my dragon that I can't do shit with. My twin twisters that I can't do shit with. My double cyclones I can't do shit with. My catapult that I can't do shit with. And my whole entire hand that I cannot. <laughs> did you guess? Cannot do shit with? Oh, yeah. Like, wow. No, you're not gonna flip some of that Raiko. Unless you wanna pop your own shit. Like, wow. Like, these hands, these hands are just ass. These hands are just ass. Like, it's shocking, shocking how bad these fucking hands are in this fucking deck. But I guess I'll watch him play with himself while I sit here and discuss. Because I can, I can easily see him. Wow, he's gonna pop his own shit. Yep. Yep. He didn't have to pop his own shit. Oh, you can. It's optional. I thought it was mandatory. Oh. Sink into that, sink into that, sink into that, level eater off that, sink into that, double wire, yeah, you already know. Uh, so, I, sw I face Swiggity Seuss, and I just happen, again, to sit next to the trucking douchebag who, you know, said my deck was garbage even though I beat him in a duel, and uh, blurted out deck. So, uh, I sit I'm sitting down, my opponent comes by, and he blurts to my opponent, he's like, so how are Black Wings going? Like, really, nigga? Like, wow, it was ridiculous. Like, he was just blurting out everybody's fucking deck. It was ridiculous. Uh, his plays are... Fairly strong. I'm glad he opened up well. I mean, I opened up ass. Ass. You gonna go into Abyss? Yep. Yep. Wow, he busts out a fucking Abyss. I can't do shit with my hand. Like, this deck is just. This deck has just been ass this, to me, this fucking game. This since fucking video. Like, Ancient Gears, like you have, it seems like you have some, some consistency issues, because holy shit. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but your eyes already know what I'm looking at. The only dice roll I won was against the Black Wings. And I said, I already knew he was playing Black Wings. Uh, the duel was fairly easy. I 2 0 him. Um, I one up him, literally. Like, I, I had some warning strike, Cosmo Jaw. I was like, I was just one upping him. Uh, I let him hit my shit, and, go, and I intentionally went to an Infinity because why not? Because I wanted to go into Infinity. Like, it, it was an easy duel. So, uh, that means that I'm now X2 and 4 and 2. Just need one, two more, and I get my invite. All right, match seven. I'll go up against Monarchs. Yeah, the Monarchs aren't dead. I knew they weren't dead. Uh, they just are a little bit more stunning. So, 
Uh, we dice roll. He wins the dice roll. I roll snake eyes. I roll snake eyes like three times in that day. I might be dead right now or close to it. Like especially with abyss. Like I had to. I had to deal with abyss now, which I didn't have to deal with previously. So that's awesome. Oh, and he gets to summon his two monster back from the graveyard. So that's awesome. I'm glad. I just opened up straight. I thought he was going to overextend. I thought maybe he was going to do something, but he just took it slow. Let me get an upstart, and then I still didn't draw into anything. Drew into another dead-ass poly. <coughs> a dead-ass fucking uh, reactor dragon. Let my hand his ass. My hand his ass. He can go into formula synchron, go into crystal math, like... You got money again. If he goes into formula and crystal math, like, GG. GG. <laughs> I think that's what he's gonna do. Like these two in the formula, then these two in the crystal math. Like, if I would have maxed him this turn, I thought he was gonna go off not last turn, but now he went off this turn. So, no second maxi for Daniel. Ah, there it is. Aren't we still drawing to nothing? Aren't we still drawing to nothing? How do you deal with this? Nah, that's nothing. Nope, that's nothing. Juju, juju. I'm done. Wow. This deck, this deck is disgustingly bad. I tried, I tried, I tried. Like, holy shit. Let's see, you're garbage, because you're, I'm barely even probably my fucking, I, I don't know, it's either, or I think that the dog might be better, just because, at least it's a monster, instead of it's poly, it actually counts as an ancient gear monster, but, like, all the background stuff, and when this is the door, I don't open up with my fucking factory, and my fucking, um, um, uh, town. I run triple town, triple, Built terraforming, of course, and no, nowhere to be found, right? None of my trade-ins, none of my draw, none of my nothing. Like, shit. Shit, this hand was... I'm facing down fucking this. I might be able to handle this if I had some kind of play. Some semblance. Like, actually, no, because I really can't get over this. So, it was kind of right as soon as this hit the field. Anyway, I do against Myers. He, he goes for us. He drops the... He opens up with Pantheism, Stormforth, and Ether. Without even searching. All three of them. I don't know. Fucking Daniel's Lock. Wow. And uh, he stuns me with Vendy's pain when my opening hand was literally triple strike and a fucking chaos trap hole. So I'm literally just setting back row, stalling. He's poking me for 24. Finally, I, I get a tin can. So I tin can, Cosmo Joe, get rid of the Vendy's pain. And then I'm able to play for a little while until he just happens to be playing not just Monarchs, but Burning Abyss Monarchs. Hits me with the bar bar when I was low on life point, And that's it, you know. Because by the time after I... Because I think I saw him strike him one more time at 17, so I dropped down to 200, but he happened to have the bar bar, so he burned the bar bar burn for game. Uh, game two, um, uh, I open up, but he gets. I open up, I get the anti spell fragrance, because you don't know how good anti spell fragrance against monarchs. Uh, I set up, I go my 10 can or whatever, I anti spell him during a draw phase, but he happens to draw right into the twin twister. Twin twister, my fucking shit. Set the royal decree. He opens up with Ether, Stormforce, and. Uh, and Pantheism again, because he pitches the Pantheism for Twin Twister, and then Court Vanish against the search, and he wrecks my fucking asshole. So, I lose the Vashra, I roll Snake Eyes, and my opponent opens up fucking Stormforth, Ether, and uh, Pantheism. All, both games. All, both games. Wonderful. Huh. Huh. He was like, wow, your luck really is bad. Mm hmm. <laughs> terrible, terrible. So, uh, now X3, I'm out. I mean, I can't get my invite, so fuck it. I did worse than last time with a fucking. To Cosmo deck with no sound strikes, <coughs> no sound strikes, no extra deck, and I do better last time. At least last time I made it to around eight x two. Couldn't even do that, so rip on that. So I find I said instead of dropping, might as well just do the last game because I'm like fuck it, it means you go. Go to the last game, and I'm dueling against trains. So like I said, I dueled against something different every single round. Uh, game one, I happened to beat him because. Uh, he pretty much does nothing, kind of bricks the opening opening pool. And then I tried to go for the OTK, but I didn't have it. So he had a couple life points left. He top decks into his field spell. He's able to actually make a door with a Derek Crane. So that was kind of difficult to deal with. Until I was like, okay, well, I, I stall for a couple turns. He has a door with his Derek Crane. I go into Nova. Uh, I go into Nova with my two Slip Riders. And he goes, on summon, detach my Derek Crane, make myself unaffected. Derek Crane, pop your Nova. And I'm like, effect. Summon Cyber and Dragon. He's like, you run it? I'm like, yeah. It was supposed to be a Barbaroid, but I couldn't find one, so I put a Cyber and Dragon. Cyber and Dragon ran over his Dora, and then I went for game, so I won, because I just happened to run Cyber and Dragon next deck. Game two, I opened up the most asshat hand I've ever opened up in that deck. I opened up Slip Rider, Dark Destroyer, three Oasis. 
drawn still into nothing, you know? Like, it was it was bad. It was bad. He opened up the first turn dark. He ran my ass over with the trains, you know? Let's run a train and destroyed me, and it was bad. Game three, I was like, well, at least my opening hand can't be even worse than that opening hand. My, game, my ha hand in opening three. Dark Destroyer, Slip Rider, F Dark Lady, and two card of mice. And then I drawn two away. This is my sixth card. Like, all right. So I sit there, do nothing again, and he beats me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the most ass helping hand ever. I literally run, I really run eight, 11 monsters in my deck. Drew three of them, and the fucking card of mice couldn't do shit. And draw fucking, not a single fucking, uh, Cosmo Town to shuffle my shit back, nothing. No tin cans, no, it was it was just bad. So, my, my bad luck went all the way to the end. I mean, like I said, it didn't really matter if I won or lost, but it's, it's just, it just made me so disappointed. Really. It was the worst opening hand I've got all fucking day. All fucking day. At least wanted to go out with a win. So, it went 4-4. Four and four, Just terrible, terrible. So, uh, I, I, right now, I'm going to try more of a pure version of Cosmo. I'm not doing a demise shit anymore. That was just bad. It's just bad. Demise is such a great card, and when you get it, and you get it, oh my god, it's so good, but <sighs> my luck was just terrible, and I, I need to rely less on luck. Of course, I should know when playing Desire's deck than, uh, I mean, a Demise deck than freaking playing with more, you know, statistic-wise, increase my consistency, so. Anyway, there you go. So, like I said, at a half an hour, or by the time this video is done, you're done watching, at uh, 2.30, my deck profile for my Demise Cosmogenin 2.0 deck will be going up, so you can check out that profile, and I'll talk about that, all that. Anyway, I mean, my, my hands in that last match were literally as bad as this, but come on. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels. Hopefully, I'll be unsick. Alright, people, thanks for watching.